Really well fought ball game. Two very good football teams out there playing. Um, give the Alabama a lot of credit. They did the things you needed to do to win. They made more plays uh, at the end than we did. Uh, but it, you know, I mean, look very simply the things they did to win. They were plus three turnover ratio. Um, they won the kicking game, uh, keeping us pinned in one field position battles all night long. And, uh, you know, in big games, those are really the things that are, are, are going to make the difference. Red zone, red zone scored a very, very simple plan to win. I think we had the ball six times in the red zone, so that's potentially 42 points. Uh, we just scored touchdowns in the red zone again this year. It wouldn't have been a close game. We would have won big. Um, but, uh, you know, give them a lot of credit. They made all those plays they needed to do. All year we've been making plays to find a way to win a game. And uh, tonight they made more plays and, and did the things that you need to do to play winning football a little bit more than we did. Questions? Dan, the field position went against you, I think, the first three quarters. How difficult was it to overcome that? Well, I mean, obviously it's hard. That's a huge part of the game in these big games is, uh, is field position. And, you know, you look very simply, you know, in a... In a to win football games, there's, there's pretty simple plans to win. You know, you got to play great defense. I thought we did that. You know, I mean, we had almost 100 more yards of offense than they did tonight. Um, our guys, we played really good defense, got off the field when we needed to get off the field. But, you know, I mean, MVP of the game is probably their punter, uh, I would imagine. I mean, he's, they just, we were really poor punting the ball tonight. Um, they were really good punting the ball tonight. Uh, and then, you know, you look and those, those flips in field position, uh, when you're playing quality teams, it, it, it's hard, you know, it's hard to just think that you're going to drive the ball and, and, uh, at, at will on an excellent defense like Alabama. And uh, so, you know, uh, that ended up being a major factor. What did you see from the safety it ended up being a five-point swing in that ball game? You know, I mean, it's just uh, Josh trying to make a play. Didn't need to. You know, didn't need to. Uh, Should have kept it up inside, tried to bounce it outside to make a play. but. Um, you know, I, it, guys trying to make plays out there on the field in big games, you don't, you don't have any, any any problems with that. At Kentucky, you said there were a little bit of nerves at the beginning of the game. Was that here, or was it just more no, Alabama? I, I thought our guys played well. I came out. Our guys were fired up, ready to go make plays. I thought um, I thought we did. I thought that was a, a, a well-fought <laughs> football game, you know? I mean, I, I mean I, those are... Two of the best teams in the country out there battling. And, I mean, there's absolutely no doubt about that. I don't think anybody watches college football this year. They know those are two of the best teams in the country and uh, out there battling in football. And, and it was a great game. And I give them credit for making the plays they needed to to win. And it was, it was, it was, it was 19 0. Mm -hmm. This place was going crazy. What happened to start turning things? Uh, you know, we have, we have some great leadership on this team. I, you know, even at 19 nothing, our guys really weren't weren't concerned. Where they just knew we weren't doing the, you know, we we weren't winning field position, weren't doing the things you needed to do to win. Um, you know, we just talked to our guys, just put the ball down, play the next play. You know, don't worry about the scoreboard. You can't worry about all those those things. Everything else going on. Worry about executing at a high level the next play. And our, our leadership did a great job of making sure our guys focused on that. And you know, and lo and behold, we start making plays and we start moving the ball. We get some scores and. Uh, you know, well, probably my fault. The red zone support calls, I guess, in the red zone. I'll really evaluate myself and see why we didn't get touchdowns on those red zone trips. When you, uh, in the last possession there, uh, you have a part of the goal at the one, you got a procedure coming. Yeah, right before half. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, I mean, that's on me, too. You know, we should have scored there. You could have used those, those four points, I guess. Would have made it more exciting. Coach, what do you think of Dak? Uh, I thought Dak played well. You know, I mean, a couple, couple, uh, couple mistakes, you know. Uh, to me, the, the, the one interception in the corner of the end zone really should have thrown. You know, didn't have it. You know, Duranye got, got got pushed right, got ran out of bounds. Yeah, they're grabbing him, ran him right out of bounds right there. And uh, Dak probably should have just thrown the ball away uh, in that situation. But besides that, I thought he played uh, He played really well, gave, gave, uh, gave us everything he's got. Was it more what they were doing in the red zone, or as you said, was it kind of more you guys? Uh, you know, I mean, a couple of, you know, I mean, we, two of them were turnovers, you know, so that one's a tipped ball, one's, you know, was, was the actual one poor decision. Um, then we get a penalty on first and goal. So, you know, I mean, uh, hey, they, they're a good defense. It's hard to score on them. Um, you know, when you get down there and, uh, and they toughen up and they make plays, and, uh, you know, but I'll love to see what, you know, was I putting our guys in, in the right position to make plays. That's, that's my, my responsibility.
feel like this loss should knock you out of playoff contention? I don't have a vote. So if I sat in the meetings, I could probably, I don't know what they're judging it off of. Uh, I don't, I know that I think we're the only team to play four top ten teams and we're three and one against those top ten teams. So if it's on strength of schedule, then absolutely not. I imagine we'll still be in the hunt. If it's on something else, I, I can't, I can't tell you what they're talking about behind those doors there, but uh, I don't know anybody else that has three top ten wins and, and their only loss is to uh, on the road, a five point loss to another team that's a top five. What did you say to the team after to kind of, you know, get them to rebound after this? Well, I mean, we should feel awful right now. We lost a football game. Everybody should feel awful. We should we should embrace that feeling, that sickness that's in your stomach right now. You know, um, it's a feeling I can't even explain to you unless you've been out there on the field and you've played in these type of games and been a part of it. You have no idea what I'm talking about, what that sickness is in your stomach uh, and that feeling. But you should embrace that. Um, feeling because we don't want to make sure we want to make sure that doesn't happen again um, beyond that everything that uh, we're worked for and every goal that we have is still completely intact this season um, I asked everybody I think one guy raised their hand one guy maybe had a goal of being undefeated this year that was never talked about on our team you know so every other goal is still right there uh, ahead of us and you know we got to uh, feel sick all night tonight and then get ready uh, to go play Vanderbilt starting tomorrow and aside from it being a road game, what is it about this place that makes it so difficult? Well, I mean, you got 101,000 people. They got, I mean, they got, I mean, like probably like 35 NFL players on their team. They got a bunch of guys, NFL guys, sitting on the bench. They can't get a rep, and, uh, you know. Um, so I, I would imagine that they got a great coaching staff. They got a um, great football team. They got more, uh, a tremendous amount of talent. 101,000 people in a, in a tough place to come play. Besides that, I don't know what else would make it tough. Why were you able to limit them offensively so much in the second half? We just played football, you know. I mean, I, it, they hit two big plays in the first half. Besides those two big plays, I, you know, I mean, the, the, those were their main touchdown. I, I mean, I give them credit that they, their two of their touchdown, two of their touchdown drives were big plays, uh, two big plays. You know, the other one I give them credit for. They made a great drive. Uh, their quarterback there, uh, Sims, made a bunch of plays on third down to keep the drive alive and. Uh, and made plays to win the game for him. Um, but, you know, I think overall, you take those two big plays out of the first half of play, you know, we really kind of contain them the whole night. Good. Thank you.